Hello everyone, I'm Jin, the TCM practitioner and the instructor in Victoria, BC, Canada. Here is my online class for ENT and eye problems for TCM practitioner and the acupuncturist. The book we use I put below here. I hope I can help the students to study and review for the class. Let's start. Then we're talking about the symptoms and the size of the ear. So like people have ear problems, usually they have some symptoms relationship with the ear. The first symptom is the ear pain. And when people come in with the ear pain, we need to ask some detail about what kind of pain. Then we can make a, like a diagnosis with different patterns. We certainly couldn't only by ear pain make the pattern, but give us some suggestions. Like people slightly ear pain, yes, slightly ear pain. And at the same time, we see where an aversion to cold. So that's we say external passenger aversion, yeah, EPI. So that kind of pain usually caused by impeach. If patients severe kind of ear pain, yes, severe kind of ear pain, pretty sharp, pretty severe. And the hospital have some yellow kind of discharge. And the hospital have some emotions and the internal heat size like a bitter taste in the mouth so that's usually caused by the heat coming from liver and the gallbladder and maybe heat combination with the dampness and if Patient long term slightly ear pain. Yeah. Compare with the first one, slightly ear pain with the fever, aversion to cold, usually it's acute problem. EPI wind attacking. But it's long term problem. Slightly ear pain. That's usually coming from deficiency. Especially their long term have some discharging coming from the ear. That's mainly coming from skin teeth and the body fluid irritation. So that's the first symptom we're talking about uh, ear pain. Yeah, first symptom we talk about. The second symptom, yeah, second symptom, we're talking about the pulse coming from the ear. Yeah, pulse coming from the ear. Yeah, some discharging pulse coming from the ear. So these kind of discharging pulse coming from the ear, it usually coming from excessive heat. So this kind of excessive heat, we say, mainly coming from liver gallbladder heat. Like excessive kind of condition, we say, mainly coming from liver gallbladder. And if a big amount, that's we talking about liver gallbladder damp heat.
and the discharge is more clear, it's more clear. And uh, still big about. That's we talking about sameness caused by spin chi divinity still. And we also have the case clear and the thin kind of discharge, but extensive amount that's usually coming from skinny disease. Certainly, any kind of pattern, we need other symptoms, like a kidney deficiency. We have other symptoms, like a lower back soreness, and the weaker knees, and the fluid urination. So, J scale as suggested here, we couldn't only by the symptoms, like a local symptom to make a whole pattern diagnosis. Then another symptom relationship with the ear is the tinnitus. So tinnitus, uh, usually we will ask about the pitch. Low pitch and the short time kind of tinnitus usually caused by wind heat. And the suddenly happens and the pretty loud sounds in there. That's usually caused by liver heat or liver fat. And the long term kind of tinnitus. That's usually caused by deficiency. So sometimes in the book, they usually use a special word, so that is kind of chop. Uh, it's not a loud sound in there, but continually in there. Uh, I think it is searching the sound, what they look like. So that's usually coming from deficiency. We talk about liver deficiency and the kidney deficiency. Another symptoms relationship with the ear. We're talking about the deafness. Means the hearing decrease. So still if suddenly happens, it suddenly happens. And the short term that's uh, we say some blocking in there. Yeah, blocking in there. Usually it's excessive condition. Yeah, excessive condition. If long term, yeah, if long term, usually it's a deficiency condition. So that's the symptom relationship with the year. We say we have four mainly symptoms. Relationship with the ear problem, ear pain, uh, discharge or pulse coming from the ear, tinnitus, and deafness. So that's uh, about the common symptoms and the signs of the ear problem. Any question in this part? Looks okay. Okay. So if no questions, uh, we can have a break. Uh, I see some students look tired right now. Uh, let's have a break and come back one. Rick works. 